Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. I am excited and a little bit nervous to dive into this one. We'll find out why in just a minute, but Harmonious at Lunch, what are we doing here? We are disrupting the way you think about your business. You don't need more useless content in the world. There is plenty of that. We're going to give you the context to filter out information, what applies to you, what doesn't, and what's going to get your business and yourself to that next level. This show is about the three-legged stool of business. Yes, business is important. We have the harmonious architecture, but we also have mind and body. And I have a feeling we're going to touch on those two things pretty, pretty heavily today when we talk to our guests. So before I get any further here, let's bring on our guest, Amanda Wheel. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so I, I hinted at it in the <laughs> intro. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Liz, your energy is fantastic. I can't wait for this. But oh, tell, tell the people what you do, and then I'll shed light on why I'm so nervous about this episode. Yes, yes, which I think is so funny. People say that to me all the time, and I'm like the least judgmental person in the world. Um, so yes, I am Amanda Wheel, and I am a soul stylist. So what I mean by that is I work with my clients, men, women, to really help them dig deep and get get clear on their inner essence, their true self. Who, who is that person that they have within that confident, prosperous, abundant person? What are the goals that they're stepping into? What's the life that they want to create? And then how should they start dressing now? Like what style is appropriate to really allow them to step into that version of themselves? So it's like a much deeper transformational, um, way of styling versus just like a, Hey, this is what's on trend. This is the designer labels. Go put that on. So that's really what my, like the, the essence of my work and what it's all about. Yeah. Now I love how you separate that. It's not just about trendy styles. Uh, the part that makes me nervous though, I know you said you're not judgmental, but my style is if you were to rate it on a scale of one to 10, like a negative six, so I'm excited to unpack this a little bit. I, I always get nervous when people approach with the style and wardrobe and what should you wear. So listen, mm. the listener, now you know I'm wearing a t-shirt and Amanda is not. So let's, okay. <laughs> let's dive well, in Well, I have a t-shirt on under my blazer. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're on the same page then. We're on the same page. Mm -hmm. Then my style is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> Although there's so much, I'm like, we could dig so deep in everything you're sharing right now, but you know, we, we don't have time. Don't have time Listen, <laughs> dig away where you want to dig. I'm an open book in service of the listener because I think, I think there's a lot of people that can relate to me, first of all. And I, I think there's a lot of people who can gain a ton of insights to the value you bring to the table. But I, I think let's center the conversation around growing yourself as a leader and getting to your next level, because you bring an interesting approach to this where you say your style and the way you feel and dress can actually help you professionally get to that next level. So can you expand on that? Yes, 100%. It's if you think of like the energetics of it. So a lot of people will will say like, oh, as soon as I get the promotion, um, as soon as that event gets put on the calendar, as soon as, as soon as, then I'll buy the outfit to wear. And like with so much love, I just feel like people have it backwards because they're waiting for the external to happen before they fully step in within to that. Whereas if you truly believe that that promotion is coming, if you truly believe that that next group of clients is coming, if you truly believe that you're going to be speaking on stage, then you need to prepare yourself now in full faith that that's happening. So you get to get really clear and visualize what, what does that person look like? What are you wearing on stage? What are you wearing you know, when you're traveling the world with your clients, like who is that version of you and how can you start acting as that person now? Because you're allowing yourself to feel as if you're already there and that becomes the frequency. That's like, we're always manifesting, we're always attracting. And so when you actually become the frequency, you become the energetic match for that to actually happen in your life. Yeah. And that's so interesting because what, I mean, can you speak to like the psychological perspective of it too? If I'm, if I'm, let's say dressed like a homeless bum, which I'm not, so don't, no, don't you look, judge me. No. <laughs> but if, if you're, if you're dressing maybe in a more comfortable way or, or a way that's not portraying you in the way that you see yourself in the world, what is that doing to your subconscious that's actually limiting you from growing? 
Well, that's exactly what it is. It's like you're you're seeing yourself in the mirror, or maybe you're feeling less than. You're feeling not worthy of it. Like you, you, why would you dress that way now? It hasn't happened yet. And so there's somewhere within your subconscious where there's a little bit of a worthiness conversation going on. Um, and I found that like at the start of the pandemic, this when people were all of a sudden forced to work from home, I saw this happening a lot because all of a sudden they were like, oh, great, I'll just stay in my pajamas. I'll stay in my workout clothes. And a lot of people were coming to me like I feel and obviously there was a lot going on in the world. So I know it wasn't just this, but a lot of them were coming to me like I just feel so worn down. I feel so unproductive. I can't really focus. And I was doing challenges about that of like, hey, let's just go put on a really great like go put on your favorite outfit go put on something that makes you feel really, really good. And they were coming back to me like, oh my gosh, my energy's up. I feel so much better. Because at the end of the day, we get dressed for ourselves, And that's why I always say like, sure, it's great if things are on trend and you want to be a part of the trend and all that. That's awesome. There's things that I do too that are you know trendy. Yet it's really about you dressing for yourself and for your energy and for how you feel when you walk by the mirror and you kind of catch a glimpse of yourself or when you feel a luxurious velvet on your body. That just feels rich it feels regal and it it in turn then makes you want to show up differently that's that's been my experience with it and my experience with my clients as well that's really interesting mm -hmm. now let me let me tell you a funny story which i think you'll probably resonate with but it was during covid mm -hmm. a uh, a friend of my wife's he would he worked from home as we all did yep. and he was like every morning i have to put on my khakis to go to work and we were all like your work is in your kitchen. What are you what are you talking about? Just put sweatpants on. But it sounds like you you feel like he's doing the right thing and the rest of us are not. Well, and I, I don't like I don't see right or wrong. So I totally don't go that route. I it just if that's what he needed to get his energy into that place where he felt like it was like a shift of like, okay, here we go. Now I'm in work mode. That's mm -hmm. what he needed. You know, for other people, maybe putting on a really cute sweatsuit does feel like their next level. It does feel really great to them. I would just say, let's make sure that there's no stains on it. There's no tears. Let's, let's at least, because I have days where I just want to wear a cute sweatsuit, yet it's a cute sweatsuit. And I've got my jewels on and I might still do my makeup, you know, because I still want to feel a certain way. It's not like I have a messy, unwashed hair. And like, it's just, it's, it's really like, you're always teaching people how to treat you based on how you treat yourself. And even if no one's watching, I mean, I don't know, I'm not putting a belief on anyone, right? But like, for me, the angels are watching, universe is watching, God is watching, right? Like, and as I said, we're always manifesting. So if I'm not showing up as a CEO of my business, if I'm not showing up as the person that is speaking on stages, why would that then materialize for me? So that's really like, it's, that's why it's, it's different for everyone, right? So you've got to be really clear on what is your vision? What do you see yourself accomplishing in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, five years? And are you acting as that person now? And mm -hmm. so for some people, sweatpants might be perfect. That's great. For other people, they might need to put on the khakis or they might need to put on a blazer or they might need to put on heels or whatever that might be to allow them to like get in the headspace of, oh yeah, that's what I'm stepping into. Yeah. No, I mean, I wear my t-shirt, but I put my heels on every day. Do you? Okay. Is, okay, I good. don't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I can't see your feet. So I'm sure I'm sure they're like hot pink. <laughs> we'll put a picture in the show notes, but anyway. <laughs> All right. So then it sounds like I love where you, uh, maybe it, that's not where you start, but do you start with the vision and then what's kind of the process you take your clients through to figure out what they need to be wearing? hundred percent. I, I think, I mean, I feel like everything in life has to start with a vision. Like, you mm -hmm. know, a lot Amen. of people have, right. A lot of people have a vision for where they want their business to go. They have a vision for what they want their house to look like, what they want their lifestyle to look like, what they want their partner to be like. Yet most people, I would say like 99% of people, unless they're working with me, don't really sit down and think about their style vision and what that looks like. And so that's absolutely where I start with every client, no matter what we're doing, if it's an, a, a, closet detox, if it's a shopping, if it's like the full blown style awakening, we always start with the vision and it's deeper than just what you want your clothes to look like. It's getting them really clear, like going down this path of what are you stepping into? What's the life that you're creating? What's important to you? Um, what do goals look like? What does your life look like? Let's visualize, let's imagine, right? How do you feel in your clothes? So it's walking them down that path. Like what colors light you up? What colors do you need right now? And I have a really unique way of doing that, which we can talk about later too. But it, it's it's getting them really clear 
on that before we even touch their clothes because that that has to happen and once like that process that I'm taking them through I'm able to get really clear on what the physical representation would look like and so from there it's creating a mood board and you know we do that kind of, I I start it but then all of this process like everything with my clients also it's we're doing it together it's never me telling someone hey this is what you should wear this is the colors you need to be in cuz who am I to say that like, of course, my eye can totally look at someone and say like, oh, they would look great in this. They would look great in that. Yet it's really about me helping my clients pull that out of themselves because they do know and they're the only ones that really, really, really know what's going to light them up. So it's my job to guide them. It's like I'm like the intuitive style whisperer kind of like to really like pull that out of them. What do they really want to wear? What does that look like for them? And that's why I feel like none of my clients dress the same. <laughs> they're all totally different body types. They're different ages. They all have different styles. And it's because it's really that process of getting them clear on who they are and, and what's their vision for how they want to show up. Yeah, that's that's amazing. I want to bring your website up on the screen here. Um, and, and while I do that, you could tell people about the really unique uh, quiz that you have. But, but before that, I want to mm -hmm. just highlight something you said, which is so important. Again, one of the reasons I resonate with you and I really wanted to bring you on the show is because you of what you said, you don't look at people and tell them what to wear. You, mm -hmm. you bring it out. And I think that's one of the things that always made me, you know, a little nervous about stylist, mm -hmm. if you will, or, or even resentful mm -hmm. is like, I'm not, if I'm not comfortable, why would I wear it like it has to come out through you so I, I love that i just wanted to highlight that exactly um, <laughs> thank you and you know what's fascinating is that for a long time i actually thought i couldn't be a stylist because my process is so different so i like people would come up to me and just be like well what should i wear what color should i wear and i'm like whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. pause for a second I need to ask you some questions and because and, and now i've honed it in and now i I don't know. Now I can kind of see in people like the color that they need. I think I just read their aura, their energy. Like I, I, I have become very intuitive in that sense. And I kind of get that sense. But when I was first starting, I was like, I style so differently. I don't look at color the same way. I don't tell people what to wear. I don't think that's right. Like, and so that took me a long time until I actually embraced that that was my unique gift. And that's what made my styling so different and so impactful. And a lot of my clients will come to me after they've already worked with another stylist and they'll share like, it was an awful experience. I didn't like anything she put me in. I now, I still don't know how to shop. It still really freaks me out to go into malls. And I'm like, well, that's it's gonna be different with me. And it's it's a little bit, the, the only like downside is that my clients get so clear after the process that kind of don't need me anymore. <laughs> and so I'm like, <laughs> shoot, <laughs> but it's okay. There's other ways that they can keep working with me, but it's, it's, it's great, right? I want people to, to be completely empowered in who they are and know how to dress and how to shop and do all those things. Yeah. It's a good problem to have that you lose clients because they're so happy and successful. Yeah. I would take that problem all day long. I know. That's, it's become my amazing. problem. I know. I know. It's fine. Then they come back for like the deeper energetic work, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so, and also something that's really interesting about you is people, you have clients who come to you that are afraid of malls. You don't take people to the typical malls. And I think well, that's very unique as well. Not always. I mean, every client is different. Every client is unique. So where we're going to go shopping is is totally different. I mean, I think I shared with you, like some of my clients, I do international retreats. So some of my clients were going shopping in Paris or we're going shopping in Milan or, you know, maybe I'm flying to them in Texas or maybe they're flying to, to California. And so I'm curating the different stores that we're going to or for others, I'm pulling things online as well. Like some of my clients are just completely virtual too. Um, but yeah, it's never like a one, sh one stop. Everyone's going here. It's like, let's make it this really beautiful, fun, luxurious, amazing experience. And then it's based on everyone's budget level and it's based on their needs for me to curate that. Yeah. I love that. All right. So tell me then about the website and the quiz you have. I put it on the screen here, Amanda wheel slash quiz. Um, yes. tell me, tell me a little bit about this quiz. Yes, yes, yes. So I was hinting a little bit that I look at color differently. Um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of when it comes to style, a lot of people have heard like, oh, well, I'm a summer, I'm a winter, I'm an autumn, I'm a this based on their skin tone. I actually don't 
fully even understand that. So another reason, again, why I didn't think I could be a stylist. Um, the way I look at color is more from the energetic perspective of it. So tying everything back to your chakras. And for anyone listening, if you don't know what that is, it's just um, a spinning wheel of energy. They're all around us. They're within us. There's, there's seven main chakras uh, within us that I focus on, and they each have a different color associated with them. So when you take the quiz, essentially it's helping you discover, is there one of those chakras that's maybe a little bit more congested right now? Because we want the energy flowing freely through us because that's when we feel good physically, uh, mentally, emotionally, when the energy is just like flowing beautifully. So the quiz will tell you what color would be really great for you to wear right now because it's going to help open up that chakra. It's going to help the energy flow. And when you are fully flowing in that state, that's when you're your most confident, grounded, whole self. So that's really what the quiz is. And it can change every single day because we're hashtag human. There's things going on in the world. Maybe one day our heart chakra is feeling a little bit like, oh, because of something someone said to us or, you know, maybe another day it's our crown. Like it's so the color can be different every single time. And so it's going to kick back the color for you to wear. Keep in mind, it does not have to be head to toe in that color. It could be a little fleck of it. It could even be like your underwear. It could be even like foods that you eat and colors that you surround yourself with. Um, and then there's also a really great mantra that aligns with each of them that you're going to get as well, which is really powerful to just say throughout the day to also help decongest that chakra. That is super cool. I'm definitely going to take it after this episode and I'm hopefully I've surrounded myself in this soundproof black office. So, and I'm wearing black right now. So hopefully that's my color, but if it's black not, is not one of the colors. Ooh, so yes, black is not one of the colors. It's the colors of the rainbow. So I feel like for some reason I'm feeling blue for you. So I actually am going to be really curious what color that you get back. You have to tell me. We have the blue question mark on the wall behind me. So I know. I will. How about this? I'll put it in the show notes. So for you listening, and if you are listening, all of this will be in the show notes too. You can you can take the quiz as well. Um, yeah. I'm really excited to dive in and see see what happens and maybe start my style journey here, which would be a miracle if that's yeah. you're able to make that happen. <laughs> the thing is, like, it doesn't have to be hard. It can actually be really really fun. I have. And a lot of my male clients, they'll be like, if we're doing a VIP shopping day, they're like, we're gonna go shopping for eight hours, and I'm like. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to take breaks. We're going to take a great lunch. If you need by like 7 p.m., they're like, I can't believe we're 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 done. Wait, the, <laughs> we're, how that was so much fun. How did we just we just had so much fun together? And I'm like, exactly. It's just it gets to be fun and easy and it just there's no like pressure around it. So that's a, that's a testimonial right there. That's amazing. Right. I think that's one of my other. Yeah. One of my other special sauce secrets is making shopping fun for people who hate shopping. Yeah, let's put that on the website, right? That's awesome. All right, so let's tie this to the harmonious architecture. Then I, I do have one more question for Amanda. So obviously we're talking about inspire. We're talking about leadership. If you're not showing up as your full confident self, how could you effectively lead a team? I think this is a secret weapon for leaders, especially leaders of teams and people who are, if you're interacting with people, you're in front of people all day long, you should probably take a look at this quiz and maybe even definitely positively reach out to Amanda. But that yeah. aside, um, you know, we're talking about mind and body as well. And I think mm -hmm. the way you show up in the world, the way the way you show up in the world affects your mindset and your mindset affects how effectively you lead. So this is a whole conversation around the three-legged stool of business. I, I love this and I love the different approach to it. So Amanda, before I let you go again, website and the quiz is on the screen. It'll be in the show notes for those of you interested in taking that. Um, can you, I, no, I didn't, I didn't prepare you for this. I didn't ask you this ahead of time. So do you have a, uh, like a success story or transformation story, someone who was working with you or before they started working with you, where they were at, and then the transformation they experienced after dressing as a, them full selves? Oh my gosh. I have so many that let, let's, the, the first one that comes to mind is because she actually was working. She ended up working with me for about three years. So she was one that started with me specifically for style because she was walking into rooms, these networking events, and she was asking people for, you know, half a million dollars, a million dollars to invest with her in, in real estate. And she felt like she wasn't playing the part. Like she felt like she was showing up in cheap clothes. Like she thought she looked good. And then she'd walk into the room and she'd be like, these people are out of my league. How can I possibly ask them to give me money? And so we first leveled up her style. There was a lot of her 
when we purge a closet, there's a lot more than just purging the clothes that we're releasing. Like there's a lot that you can uncover that the stories that people have what based on what they're holding on to and then take as I take them through the process. So there was a lot of release work that we got to do. And, you know, her goal was really just to show up powerfully at these networking events. I kid you not, like we revamped her style. And instead of just showing up powerfully, she was actually asked to start speaking on stage. Wow. So now almost every networking event she goes to, she's speaking on stage and she walks into the room and she is so magnetic. People are coming up to her. They're like, oh, I've heard about you. I need to meet you. Like she can barely even walk into a room. She's like bombarded. She's so magnetic. And she's now, I mean, fast forward three years and continuing to do the deeper work. She's now um, networking with billionaires. So she has billionaires investing with her. So it's really amazing. And I mean, that's just one example and that's money. I also have a lot of clients who end up releasing the weight that they always wanted to release. Um, Instead of waiting to release the weight to work with me, they say, yes, we start working together and they do, they end up releasing that weight because as I said, it's deeper than the clothes. There's emotional baggage that you're holding on to that we're able to discover through the process. And so in letting that go and in starting to love who they are now and how they are now, it allows that shedding and that transformation to happen faster. So those are just two examples that initially come to mind. That's amazing, first of all. And I, I didn't, I had no idea. I would not have even guessed that in in talking to you the first time, talking about style and wardrobe. That sort of a transformation would not even have popped in my mind. So mm-hmm. that's amazing. And if you're listening to this and you're not convinced, <laughs> you might be a little dumb, but that's okay. Right, that's- we can have a conversation. <laughs> we can chat. I promise I, we can chat and I'll help you understand. Like we'll get, we'll dig deep. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, again, take Amanda's quiz, find out your color, and then take that next step. Um, can we follow you on social media to get some tips and absolutely? Yes. So Instagram, it's Amanda Wheel Style. Um, I have YouTube, same, it's it's Amanda Wheel Style. And I do, I do, so it's not just about the deeper, right? I also do definitely give you style tips and how to mix and match things together. You get to have fun with that too. So yeah, tons of video content. And if you like puppies right now, my stories are all about my puppy. So <laughs> you can follow along in that too. Yeah. Her puppy is adorable. She's I adorable. saw her last time. So yes, go follow Amanda um, on social media. Take the quiz. Do everything we said to do because you deserve to take your business and your life to that next level. Mm-hmm. And I hope, I know I called you dumb. I'm sorry. But if you're listening, <laughs> please take that next step and grow your business. If that's the only thing you heard from me, then please go do that. So. Thank you so much, Amanda. And thank you for listening. This has been a fantastic and super fun episode of Harmonious at Lunch. I will see you on the next one. Yay.